Hey guys, Astro Nebula here. So in this video, uh, KSP has released version 1.1, and and good news is that they ported KSP to Unity 5, which is the newest uh, version of Unity, which will actually substantially uh, increase performance. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you this awesome mod here called uh, Real Plume. It's it actually uh, makes things more realistic, like, you've probably seen videos of uh, rocket launches where as they go up, the, the plume or the exhaust will actually expand because of uh, lower atmospheric pressure, so in this mod, if you're sick and tired of actually seeing a laser blast coming out, just say, uh, that's the mod for you. That's what the description says. So, uh, I'll be launching this sample rocket here, which in 1.1 they added this huge, huge heat shield, which is about 10 meters in diameter. So, I'll be I'll be launching this rocket over here. So, in three, two, one, and lift off. You can see that they actually changed the the particle. Uh, they actually changed the particle um, stuff to make it more realistic. And even the smoke too, they actually changed it to make it more uh, obvious. And, and, and it depends if you're using solid fuel or liquid fuel. So if you're using solid fuel, you'll see the smoke. In, in, in real life, if you use liquid fuel, like rockets that doesn't use solid fuel, you'll not see the smoke coming out. Like, uh, if you don't believe me, I'll show you some sample videos in the description below. Or that was just my phone. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna be jettisoning this, uh, As you can see now the the flames are starting to expand which when when you see this rocket in mission control you would see something something like this very similar to this where the rocket is dwarfed like dwarfed from the the plume so let's jettison and then boom oh yeah this is dope all right this is dope you can actually see it now I used scatter, which is uh, it's a mod which uh, changes the atmosphere towards uh, something more realistic. Like it allows you to see stuff like the belt of. Uh... By the way, wait, this is not good. I'm in escape velocity. Let me let me slow down for a bit because what I want is to actually uh, like I want to go suborbital. That's what I want to. That's what I want to go. So yeah. So, let's see. Alright, finally. Finally, we did it. So, actually, I could get this thing into orbit, but I want to demonstrate this, uh, this heat shield. So, yeah. Alright, let me, let me, uh, Yeah, let's let's just go to the edge of the the sphere of influence. Let's, let's. All right. Let's. All right. I just like the 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 particle effects. Goodbye. I don't need this. So. Just let's just inflate this. Yes, this is awesome. This is dope. Look how look how big it is. This is probably what NASA is going to use when they're going to when they're going to Mars, or maybe if they're going to test some high-speed re-entry and they're going to use these to 
so they can actually like let's say if you or maybe if you want to put some huge spacecraft and you want to protect it from re-entry so you can use one of these to cover more area of re-entry all right let's, all right apparently we're gonna go uh past the the moon's orbit so it's gonna go through some crazy re-entry uh. or this is not supposed to happen all right finally there you go. And and, uh, and apparently with this heat shield, the deacceleration is just so huge that it'll create so much G forces, and, and it's just really effective. Look at this. So, you can see that I just had a little jettison accident where it actually penetrated, so it's a glitch, just saying. Alright, is my parachute deployed or not? Alright. Yep, it is, so... It's yep, it's deaccelerating, so it's working. Yeah, well, let's wait until it hits the surface. So just time accelerate by using physics warp. Yeah, it's too dark in here, so. I couldn't see this. Yep, parachute has been expanded. All right, it's just probably 26.8 kilometers an hour is still uh, pro probably it's still good. But in real life, such as this, like remember one of those Soyuz rockets were. Sometimes, as soon as they hit the surface, they have one of these thruster stuff in it, inside. Like, because, uh, t like, sometimes they could be traveling at the same speed as my craft is going, which is like 26 kilometers an hour, so they want to, they want to, like, increase safety by slowing that down to even more, like, maybe to 5 kilometers an hour. So, in KSP, we don't have a feature like this unless you use mods or anything, but uh, in KSP, 25, like 26 kilometers an hour is good. So, yeah, let's just land. Yep. Yep, I finally landed. So, let's recover this vessel. Yep. So, if you want more, subscribe. If you want to see some news or upcoming events, please follow me on social media and see you then.